Hey everyone, it's Suze Orman, and let's talk about some big news in the financial world. TD Canada Trust just made a move that's got everyone talking. They lowered their prime rate. That's right, they cut it by 25 basis points, bringing it down to 6.45%. You might be thinking, Suze, what does that even mean for me? Don't worry, I'm here to break it down in a way that's easy to understand. This rate cut is a big deal, and I want you to understand why. It affects your loans, your mortgage, even your credit cards. We're going to dive deep into all of that, so stay with me. We'll talk about what this means for your wallet and how you can make the most of it. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your money. So, let's get started and figure out what this prime rate change means for you. First, let's talk about timing. This rate cut is effective immediately, which means you might start seeing changes in your interest rates very soon. If you have a variable rate mortgage or a line of credit, your monthly payments could decrease giving you a bit more breathing room in your budget. This is a great opportunity to reassess your financial goals and see where you can save or invest the extra money. But it's not just about saving. Lower interest rates can also mean it's a good time to consider refinancing your mortgage or consolidating debt. Refinancing can help you lock in a lower rate for the long term, potentially saving you thousands of dollars over the life of your loan. Do your research and consult with a financial advisor to see if refinancing makes sense for you. And remember, while lower rates can be beneficial, it's important to stay disciplined with your spending and saving habits. Use this opportunity to strengthen your financial foundation and work towards your long-term goals. With the right approach, this rate cut can be a stepping stone to greater financial stability and success. So let's embrace this change and make the most of it together. Stay tuned for more tips and insights on how to navigate these financial waters. Thanks for joining me. And remember, your financial well-being is always worth the effort. Until next time, take care and stay financially savvy. Now let's talk about this thing called the prime rate. Don't let the fancy name scare you. It's actually pretty simple. The prime rate is like a benchmark that banks use to set interest rates on their loans. Think of it as the starting point. When a bank decides how much interest to charge you for a loan, they look at the prime rate. Then, they add a little something extra, depending on things like your credit score and the type of loan you're getting. So, the lower the prime rate, the lower the starting point for those interest rates. That's why this recent announcement from TD Canada Trust is so important. By lowering their prime rate, they're essentially making borrowing a little bit cheaper. And that can have a ripple effect on your entire financial life. Okay, so we know TD Canada Trust lowered their prime rate, but what does that really mean for you and your wallet? But how does this actually affect your money? Let's break it down. Well, it all comes down to interest. Interest rates are a crucial part of how much you pay for borrowing money. When the prime rate goes down, the interest rates on certain loans tend to follow. This is because many loans are directly tied to the prime rate. That means you could end up paying less in interest over the life of your loan. Imagine saving hundreds or even thousands of dollars just because the prime rate dropped. This is especially important if you have a variable rate loan, like a mortgage or a line of credit. These types of loans are directly influenced by changes in the prime rate. These loans are directly tied to the prime rate, so when it goes down, your interest rate usually goes down too. This can make a significant difference in your monthly payments. That means lower monthly payments, which can free up some extra cash in your budget. Extra cash that you can use for other important things, like saving for a vacation or paying off other debts. But even if you don't have a variable rate loan, this rate cut could still affect you. Banks often adjust their rates on other products to stay competitive. Banks might adjust their rates on other products like fixed rate mortgages and personal loans to stay competitive. This means you might find better deals on new loans or refinancing options. So, whether you're looking to buy a new home, refinance your current mortgage, or take out a personal loan, a lower prime rate can be beneficial. In the end, understanding how the prime rate impacts your wallet can help you make more informed financial decisions. It can help you save money and manage your finances more effectively. So, keep an eye on the prime rate and talk to your bank about how you can take advantage of lower interest rates. It could make a big difference in your financial future. Now you might be wondering why should we care what TD Canada Trust does? Well, TD Bank Group, their parent company, is a big deal in the financial world. They're one of the largest banks in North America, with operations across Canada and the United States. 
When a bank of that size makes a move like this, it often sets a trend. Other banks tend to follow suit, adjusting their own prime rates in response. So this TD Canada Trust announcement could have implications for borrowers across the entire region. Decoding the economic puzzle. Why the rate cut? Understanding the reasons behind financial decisions can be complex, but it's crucial for making informed choices. So why did TD Canada Trust decide to lower their prime rate now? This move has significant implications for both consumers and the broader economy. It all comes down to the economy. The financial landscape is constantly shifting, influenced by a myriad of factors including global events, market trends, and consumer behavior. Central banks around the world, including the Bank of Canada, have been raising interest rates to combat inflation. This is a common strategy used to manage economic stability. Inflation is when prices for goods and services go up, and it can erode the value of your money. Higher prices mean that your purchasing power decreases, making everyday items more expensive. When central banks raise rates, it's supposed to slow down the economy and bring inflation under control. Higher interest rates make borrowing more expensive, which can reduce spending and investment. However, there are signs that these rate hikes might be working. The economy shows signs of responding to these measures, with some positive trends emerging. Inflation has been cooling down in recent months. This indicates that the measures taken by central banks are having the desired effect, bringing some relief to consumers. TD Canada Trust's decision to lower their prime rate could be a sign that their confident inflation is under control. This move might reflect their optimism about the current economic conditions, or they might be trying to stimulate the economy by encouraging people to borrow and spend more. Lower interest rates can make loans more attractive, potentially boosting consumer spending and investment in the economy. For businesses, lower rates can mean cheaper loans for expansion and operations, which can lead to job creation and economic growth. For individuals, it can mean more affordable mortgages and personal loans. Ultimately, the decision to cut rates is a balancing act. It aims to support economic growth while keeping inflation in check. By understanding these dynamics, we can better navigate our financial futures. Good news for borrowers, the potential impact. So what does this rate cut mean for you, the everyday consumer? Well, it could be good news if you're looking to borrow money. Lower interest rates mean lower borrowing costs, which could make it more affordable to finance a car, renovate your home, or consolidate debt. However, it's important to remember that interest rates are just one factor to consider when borrowing money. You also need to think about your own financial situation, your ability to repay the loan, and the terms and conditions of the loan agreement. Mortgages and the prime rate what you need to know. If you're a homeowner or thinking about buying a home, this prime rate cut is especially important for you. Mortgage rates are often tied to the prime rate, especially variable rate mortgages. So, if you have a variable rate mortgage, you might see your monthly payments go down. However, it's important to remember that mortgage rates are influenced by a variety of factors, not just the prime rate. Lenders also consider things like the Bank of Canada's policy rate, bond yields, and competition in the market. Credit card interest rates are notoriously high, and they can make it difficult to pay down debt. Unfortunately, credit card rates aren't always directly tied to the prime rate. Credit card issuers have more flexibility in setting their interest rates. However, this prime rate cut could still put some downward pressure on credit card rates. If other banks start lowering their prime rates, credit card issuers might follow suit to stay competitive. This prime rate cut isn't just about consumers, it could also have a big impact on businesses. When borrowing costs are lower, businesses are more likely to invest in growth opportunities, like expanding their operations or hiring new employees. This increased business activity can be good for the overall economy, leading to